Greg, what are the future trends? You know, how do you see uh, hyper automation moving? You know, from now on, maybe to the decade or so, maybe in twenty uh, thirties or so. Yeah, well, I I think you know things just got a turbo boost here in the past year with the launch of ChatGPT and just like every company now launching their own copilot and generative AI. So I think. Where I see things going is I see that the pace of, of the democratization of automation and development increasing beyond anybody's wildest imagination. So, you know, like I mentioned when you before, mentioned, when you mentioned democratization of uh, generative AI, you know, how is it happening? Are people, you know, making consensus about it? What do you know about it? Is it happening already? So I see... Uh, over the last three or four years, many companies started democratizing automation with low code technologies, you know, lowering the bar, you know, like our tools. And there's a lot of low code tools out there that are now empowering people in lines of business that are not traditional developers to help automate their jobs. And so this is kind of still a niche. And maybe you see companies with like 20% penetration and adoption. I see this going up dramatically now with generative AI. Because you've just lowered the bar and increased the productivity of non-developers to be able to automate their jobs. So where I think right now a lot of companies are still launching low-code citizen developer programs, and though generative AI will help aid those, those tools, they're still very hesitant a lot of places. Like, I don't want to empower lines of business to do automation because they're going to create sprawl and they're going to create technical debt. But I think, you know, platforms like ServiceNow are providing the guardrails and the governance around doing that now so that you can do that in a safe way. And the companies that are coming out with low-code citizen development programs are getting the benefit of empowering the people closest to the business problems to innovate on their own. 